how are you? So nice of you to stop by. Uh, if we are just meeting, my name is Kathy. This is my puppy Coco, and it's my DIY channel. We do a lot of fun projects on the budget here. So please consider subscribing if you like to save money and become my bestie. <laughs> In today's video, we're gonna be doing something exciting, a 3D wreath from Dollar Tree. Have you seen these? This is a 14 inch and a, a 10 inch. Um, there's something new and if you saw them, you're probably wondering like, how do I put it together and what do you do with it? Well, in today's video, we're gonna experiment together. Let's get crafting. Okay, let's put this thing together. We're gonna start off with a smaller form, 10 inch. Here are the instructions. Place the metal fixture over the reef as below. Secure the end of the metal fixture by wrapping around the wire and then repeat. Sounds pretty easy. <laughs> as you open up the reef, you're gonna see that it consists of four metal rings connected together in the middle, although very loose. I try to space them out and put the little metal fixture on top of it, just like it said in the instructions. I quickly learned that the rings won't stay in place, but that's okay, we're gonna do one wire at a time. I place the metal fixture over the first wire and I bend the end and wrap around the wire. Let me show you here more up close. You see, I, I line the ring and I wrap the end of the metal fixture around it. Just like so. And now I'm gonna do the second one. Just bend the metal fixture and wrap the end around the wire. And you keep repeating those steps all around until you're done. When done, you flip it on the other side and you do exact same thing. Place that metal fixture on top and start wrapping each end around the wire. That's it, it's not really hard and you got yourself a 3D wreath. The first one we're gonna decorate for spring with Dollar Tree flowers. I love these wild flowers. I got two bushels and I got uh, one bushel of amaryllis, my favorite plant because of the greenery. First time I've seen it in yellow. We're gonna need a small piece of the floral foam and some ribbons. I'm not sure which ones I'm gonna use yet, but I got some green and yellows, and we might need some moss. First, we're gonna cut all the flowers to separate pieces. Then we cut a small cube out of the floral foam. We secure it in the middle of the reef form with some hot glue. And now we're gonna start decorating, starting with amaryllis. I decide to wrap it around every other wire, just like so.
To secure the flowers better, I just add a drop of hot glue here and there. And once that is done, we're going to add the wildflowers in the middle. So we added the wildflowers in the center and all around four sides. Now we need to add some more in the center just to fill it up. I think it looks nice and full now. We just need to cover that unsightly green foam with some floral moss. And it does get messy, uh, but it's worth it. It gives that nice uh, natural touch. And um, I think that's going to complete our wreath pretty much. Oh, I think it's starting to look so pretty. Now we're just going to secure our flowers here and there. Just fix them up a little bit and make sure they're in a perfect position. What better to complete a wreath if not the bestie bow? Just cut four strips of ribbon about 24 inches long, fold each piece in half, measure 5 inch loop, pinch it and hold it with your thumb. And repeat the same steps with each loop. The trick is to keep the loops about the same size. And take a floral wire and tie it well together. And then just fluff, fluff, fluff until a beautiful bestie bow appears in front of your eyes. <laughs> so if there's still anyone out there who's scared to try to make a bow, this is the one to make. It is so easy. You're going to love it and you're going to be so proud of yourself. And it really comes useful in life. You put it on a simple wreath and you make it look fabulous. You put it on a present or on a, on a vase um, for a bouquet for your friend. It's just going to take it to another level. It's just uh, so amazing. You buy a ribbon in a, for $1 in a dollar store and it will take your creation to another level. So do not be afraid. Go for it, my bestie. And here's my bestie bow. I'm going to attach it to the top of the reef, right there with the remaining floral wire. Here I have a couple ideas for you. You can uh, put your wreath in an urn and create like a centerpiece. 
What do you think? This urn was $2.49 at a Christmas tree shop. Or uh, here's another one I have from Target. A beautiful spring centerpiece, right? Or you can hang it. But before I hang it, I want to attach a couple tails out of the ribbon. I cut two 12-inch pieces here. Um, I find the midpoint and fold it in the middle, pinch it like a V-shape. And now I'm going to tie them together with a floral wire in the middle. And then I pull that wire up and I attach uh, just a piece of a floral stem or a floral pick, whatever you have handy. Just like so. And I'm going to attach it at the bottom of a wreath just by poking through the floral foam. I think it's a nice finishing touch to this wreath. You can use a command hook to hang your wreath on the ceiling, in the window, or in a door frame. Simply thread a wire or a string through your wreath and tie it at the top. And here's the look at our 3D reef. Please comment down below and let me know how do you like it. And here's my cherry on the top, a monarch butterfly that I got at a Dollar Tree with uh, some spring flowers. I think it's a perfect addition to this welcome spring reef. And of course, you can decorate it with any color flowers that you like. You can attach a small bird instead of a butterfly and just make it beautiful. I think it's such a great value for your money. You get that form for a dollar, you add five dollars worth of uh, flowers and ribbon and look at how gorgeous. What a nice piece or a centerpiece. As a matter of fact, I love that it has a dual function. And here's my little flower. If uh, you like her pinky tails, make sure you press thumbs up. Okay, now we're gonna do the second one and it's 14 inches 3D. It's gonna be amazing. We are going to put it together just the same way as we did in the beginning by uh, placing the metal fixture on top of each wire and wrapping it around. Look at that baby, it's huge. <laughs> We are going to decorate it with the butterflies. I got my butterflies at a Dollar Tree. I have here some small ones, leftovers from a previous project, as well as these butterfly bushes. They're the best value because you get six butterflies for a dollar. And I'm also gonna be using some of these feathers that came with the grass. I just got them at a Dollar Tree, even though they're from fall collection. And we're going to spray paint everything gold. I got this spray paint for uh, $4.14 from Home Depot. I'm going to place my wreath on styrofoam so it doesn't move. I like to save uh, styrofoam from old shipments. It comes useful when you're crafting. So here I'm pinning down all my butterflies so they don't fly away when I spray paint. Especially now in the winter, it's so windy outside, it's not easy to spray paint, <laughs> uh, but we're going to do it. Same with the feathers, we're going to separate and spray paint them as well. My inspiration comes from Pier One, this beautiful golden butterfly wall decor for $99. We're going to recreate it for a fraction of a cost. And this is how everything looks in gold. How amazing is that, guys? <laughs> I love it. All of a sudden, everything looks so much more expensive. And take a look at that beautiful gold reef form. Gorgeous. I spray painted the foam black as well, just because it will be showing. I'm attaching it with some hot glue in the middle of my reef form. And we're going to start off by adding the feathers all around the cube.
Let's start adding the butterflies. Uh, to the first one, I'm gonna attach a small piece of floral stem, uh, just so I could insert it standing up in the center of the wreath. And the rest of them, we're gonna attach directly to the wires with uh, some hot glue. We need to place a big one at the top to cover that metal piece. And uh, make sure you place your butterflies in all different directions. We want them to look natural, like they just sitting and resting there. <laughs> and I have a small butterfly pig here. I think it's perfect to attach up above so it looks like it's flying. I want to attach a few on the other side as well. And why don't we attach one right here at the bottom as well. At the last minute, I decide to spray paint some old leaves to use them as fillers uh, to cover empty spots on my foam. And take a look at this beauty. <laughs> Isn't it gorgeous? Just like with the previous 3D wreath, we can make a centerpiece out of it or we can hang it. What do you think? Isn't it stunning? And look at those feathers, aren't they gorgeous? I'm so glad I added them. They look like they're cut out of metal, don't they? Now I'm going to attach a string and show you how it displays hanging. What do you think? Did I do it justice? Because I fell in love as soon as I saw this wall decor from Pier 1. And I have to admit, uh, it came out pretty amazing out of the Dollar Tree items. I spent only $12, including cost of the spray paint, and that will last me a long time. So I'm feeling very good about it. And I love the 3D design. I love that I could use it as a reef and also as a centerpiece. Perfect decor piece for any space. All right, my besties, so this is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a great time. 
see you next time oh and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you're gonna know when i upload a new video take care see you next time bye bye look at coco so tired <laughs> bye guys Thank you.